stand be seated. Let's begin in prayer on this beautiful day. Father in heaven, we come before you, Lord of heaven and earth, and we thank you that you are near, and we thank you that you are smiling, and we thank you that you made this day, and you made this moment, and we thank you for this opportunity to come and join with this precious couple in their vows before you, O oh God. And so we pray your blessing on this time, and we thank you for that in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. I welcome you, friends and loved ones. Marriage is an honorable estate. It's instituted by our Heavenly Father, and it signifies the union which exists between the Lord Jesus and His bride, the church. The holy state of marriage is declared by God's word to be the most sacred and intimate of all human relationships. Therefore, it is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently and in the acknowledged presence of God as witness and king over these proceedings. It's into this holy and sacred estate that Cameron and Tiffany now come to be joined Cameron and Tiffany, today you're presenting yourselves before this congregation to declare your intention of uniting your lives for the service of God and man. You are making a double dedication to each other in a lasting union that will endure for the remaining years of your lives and you're making a commitment to God that he will make you his instrument to accomplish his purposes in this earth. It's going to require an appreciation of each other's abilities and virtues and forgiveness of each other's faults and an unfailing devotion to each other's welfare. I charge you, therefore, as we continue in this time, that you consider that these promises that you make to each other today are made in the presence of God who remembers your pledges and he holds you responsible for performing them. These vows must be kept sacred before God. They must be kept sacred. So I have an opportunity to ask, are you ready? I thought you might be. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? You do. Very good. Okay. Thank you, buddy. All right, Cameron, you can go ahead. Awesome. Cameron and Tiffany, you look amazing on this day. And it's an honor to be here with you. I want you to keep in mind that each of you is an object of the amazing redemption of Christ. And value one another as an object of that redemption. Neither should be neglected or belittled by the other. 
Never belittle one another. Never neglect one another. Esteem one another as God's gift for help, for comfort, for joy, and a shelter where you can find confidence and trust. Share willingly and sympathetically with one another in joys and in worries. And share your successes and share your struggles. Whichever one prevails, hang on tight to one another. So that defeats may be met by united strength and victories by united joy. May there be such an openness and a oneness between you and your marriage that when one of you weeps, the other one tastes the salt in the tears. I charge you, in short, to recognize that Jesus is the head of your home. He's the ruler of your destinies and keep him as the object of your deepest affection. If you do this, he will confirm your marriage by his guidance and he will overshadow you with his peace. And I charge you to love each other, support each other, and to serve one another and serve God with sincere hearts and your service for him shall be completed. I'm going to read a scripture out of Genesis. It says this, And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam, and he slept. And God took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, he made a woman. And he brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore man shall leave his father and mother and shall be joined to his wife and they too shall be one flesh. And as Jesus said, whatever therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. So we're going to get this thing done. Are you ready to go with me? All right, let's go to the stage. Perfect. You can turn and face one another. I'm going to ask you a question. And, and, it if is, and if it is your heart, you can answer me by responding, I will. Okay? Cameron, I'm going to ask you first. Cameron, will you have Tiffany to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her and comfort her? Honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others. Be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. If that's your heart, respond by saying, I will. I will. Tiffany, I'm going to ask you now. Tiffany, will you have Cameron to be your husband? To live together in a holy marriage. Will you love him and comfort him? Honor and keep him. In sickness and in health and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. If that's your heart, respond by saying, I will. I will. Now, I want you to repeat these vows after me. And Cameron, you're going to go first. I, Cameron, take you, Tiffany. I, Cameron, take you, Tiffany. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. In sickness and health. In sickness and health. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poor. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. And Tiffany, you now repeat after me. I, Tiffany, take you Cameron. I, Tiffany, take you Cameron. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. Day in sickness and health. In sickness and in health. For better or worse. For better, for worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Oh my makeup. Don't worry about your makeup. You're going to make us all cry. Everybody's makeup's going to come off. <laughs> it's beautiful. Now, may I see the rings?
thank you. These rings that I hold are a symbol of your unbroken union which God has ordained and is ordaining today. Let their shining beauty remind you always of this shining moment and your covenant with one another. May wearing them always be a high honor and a pleasure to you, recalling the deep love that brought you together and the covenant you've made today to share your life with one another and forsaking all others. So help you, God. Cameron, I'm going to give you Tiffany's ring first. I want you to take the ring and I want you to place it on her finger. And now I want you to repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, as a token of love and affection, as a token of love and affection, I thee wed, I thee wed. Now, Tiffany, take Cameron's ring. I want you to place it now on his finger. And as you do that, repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. As a token of love and affection. As a token of love and affection. I thee wed. I thee wed. Now, we're going to take a special moment and we're going to say a prayer as a congregation over you, precious couple. So loved ones in the congregation, if you would join us in a moment as we pray over them in these precious moments of their brand new marriage. Once you reach your hands this way, and let's just say a prayer over this precious couple. Father, I lay my hands on this couple. And Lord, at moments like this, what an honor it is to represent you. And God Almighty, as I represent you today, I lay my hands on them and I pray a blessing on them. I pray strength on them for the journey. And Lord, in the tenderness of this moment, God, as we've walked together, I've seen their heart for you and I've seen their love for one another. And God, over them today, I pray blessing. I pray strength. I pray, God, that you would cause their steps to flourish. Prosper them. And as they hear your voice, cause their marriage to shine in this dark world. Thank you for your hand upon them. And I speak strength over them. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. Now, I want you to turn and face me. Cameron and Tiffany, I'm very proud of you. I'm proud of you. And it's an honor to take part in this time with you. I've seen your love for one another and I've seen your love for God. You will do well if you keep that love at the forefront. So Cameron, take care of this young lady named Tiffany, who today is giving herself to you. Strive to live that no word or deed of yours will ever bring her sorrow or dim her eyes with tears of grief. Tiffany, take care of Cameron, who today is giving himself to you. Strive to be a bright spot in his days so that nothing you do or say will bring sorrow to him. And together, cast your cares upon God Almighty because he cares for you. So today, inasmuch as Cameron and Tiffany have consented together in holy wedlock and they've witnessed the same before God and this company of their friends, they've pledged their faith each to the other and have openly declared the same. They've joined their hands and by giving and receiving rings. As a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I declare now that before God, they are husband and wife together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, those whom our Lord has joined together, let no man put asunder. Amen. Cameron, you may kiss your bride. All right, now I want you to turn and face this congregation. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I am pleased to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Cameron Sams. You're ready to go. Okay. Um, can, can you hear me? Okay. I don't know how I'm going to top that. Um, wow. Okay. I want to take a moment to thank you guys for being here and coming. We've had friends and family come from so far. So thank you for coming and thank you for everything that you guys have done. We also, oh my goodness, we also have people who couldn't be with us today um, due to other commitments. Um, I want to take a moment to say hi to Zeta and Raiden. Mommy loves you. I'm sorry you guys couldn't be here. Um, my mom couldn't be here with us today either. Um, but thank you for everything that you did too. And we love you guys. We love you all. And thank you. All right. Now, you get to cheer again because I'm going to introduce them and they're going to make their way out of here, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to introduce to you again Mr. and Mrs. Cameron Sams. Thank you all for coming today as we celebrate with this family. Precious ones, you're all invited to stay and enjoy a reception with cake and punch and